Hi there guys, in today's video with TrueCut already works, we're going to be looking at your grid settings that's located under the page settings. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. Now, um, in the previous video, we looked at setting your actual page height or width and height. And today we're gonna to be looking at the grid. Now, also just a quick reminder, this is a mini series on the page settings. And I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along. So now if we head back over to our page settings on the config page settings, we will uh, notice at the bottom is grid, but also we have the head um, number. I'm not going to make a separate video for this, seeing that it's not much to cover. So over here, you can pretty much set the um, head spacing. But then under the grid here, we have two options. So first of all, we can enable or disable the grid with little settings. Uh, but if you're used to working with the grid, you'll notice the program feels a bit naked like this. Sure, it's very clean, but... Uh, yeah, you get quite uh, used to the grid being visible. So I'm just going to re-enable that. And then next up here, we've got the grid spacing. And as you guys can see, that is in millimeters. So at the moment, it's 50 millimeters. So that's 5 centimeters. So you can change this to whatever you want. Maybe the template you're working with is... Um, uh, it's maybe got a, a preset size, which you need to work with. Maybe everything needs to be 10 millimeters spaced or so forth. And you can just readjust it here. Like if we had to make this 100 millimeters, click OK. And you can see we've got quite a big space in here. I'm just going to set mine back to a default of 50 millimeters. And then there we go. We've got a nice grid spacing. But yeah, that is it on grid spacing. It's rather simple. But uh, yeah, in the meanwhile, if we head here to softwaretraining.ca.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And also you can isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request a training video, fill in the mini form, and then we will do our best to make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.